Hello, before this video starts, I just felt the need to address something really personal, so hear me out. I started college two months ago in August. Um, while I was excited, and I am still excited about being in a new place and uh, studying something really interesting and all, I haven't been making as many new connections and new friends as I would have liked. In September, really struggled with everything going on and felt really lonely <laughs> by myself in a new place, uh, trying to figure out what college even is. And even if I've been talking about this with my friends and they've given me support and all, some of my friends also started school and are also in a similar situation, but I still like feel feel that I shouldn't bother them and I should be having the connections here. But since I don't have them, I just I just wanted to address this thing because I feel like I'm I might not be alone in this. And if you are in a similar situation, I just want you to know that you're going to be okay. Um I feel your I feel your uh, disconnected and lost energy so so, so much, I hope, uh, expressing this uh, problem of mine and expressing the lonely feelings I've been having really helps someone and maybe gives them little support or cheer up troubles or not. Um, I hope all the best for you. That said, uh, let's start the video, okay? Hey, how is everyone doing? I've been waiting for this for a long time, but since uh, September and since um, school and yeah, I've, I've had life. I've been waiting to start this sketchbook for a while. If you watched my last video where I designed this cover, um, you know that what this is. There are quite like endless ways to uh, use a sketchbook and how you um, make art in your sketchbook. What do, what is the purpose of sketchbook? That's everyone up to like that's up to op opinion. But I am one of those people who want to like feel everything. I feel I would feel uncomfortable living this so plank. This has so much room, even if this had more marker. Uh, work done, I would still draw a heart or something and be content. Like, I need something. <laughs> I need something for every page and it's kind of like making myself sure that I'm using the most I can of um, any sketchbook I use. I think we're going to do some warm-ups here, just whatever comes to mind. I haven't drawn anything today, so let's show some warm-ups here and maybe here just something else. <laughs> So um, yeah, um, you can grab a sketchbook if you have uh, one, if you don't just find a piece of paper and doodle something with me. I literally don't have any subjects, so we'll see, we'll see how this goes. So here comes Tyra. General four tips. I think my I got my first sketchbook when I was 11 or something and I have formed opinions about what works and what doesn't and um, watching sketchbook videos from other artists from YouTube or just anything art related and sketchbook, sketchbook related I've come to these conclusions so Feel free to use them, feel free to pay no mind to them, but I just want to share them in case they help someone out. That would be great. Tip number one, decide how you want to use your sketchbook. Um, you shouldn't take any pressure of seeing other people's beautiful sketchbooks because comparing is... No, we... No. Just don't do it. It makes you feel a little bit more insecure and interrupts your own development in a way. If you can 
decide when you buy a sketchbook, you can decide how you want to treat it from the start, or you may not. Your sketchbook can be trash can, it can only be like mainly focused on practices, or it can be an OC sketchbook if you want to focus on a certain media. You have want to practice painting, then it's only natural you choose a, like a painting sketchbook for yourself, or marker sketchbook, or pencil sketchbook. There are literally so many media you can use and practice. You can also treat a sketchbook just as a something um, you can go and relax to and like, like for free time drawing. Not exactly like a trash can, <laughs> which <laughs> probably um, describes my every sketchbook in a perfect way because they're a trash can of uh, interesting, useless, and important things, like everything. Perhaps not all the content I have created in my sketchbooks in the past are not like belonging in the trash can, but it's kind of like hodgepodge. It's like a mix of everything. I think my uh, pre most previous sketchbook tour, there were like all kinds of media, then some weird interesting uh, language phrases I found, um, colored ones, not colored ones, um, fan art, OCs. So yeah, just treat your sketchbook how you will. It's up to you. You don't even have to decide exactly like what your sketchbook is going to be like, what kind of content you want to create. But it can be a guideline to you. It can be helpful to kind of have that guideline. So once you get your sketchbook um, guidelines, now I think what most people struggle with is starting it. All I want to say that just start it. It doesn't matter. You can um, pour coffee to a page, you can paint it all white again, you can color it pink, you can put stickers on the first page, you can do everything. The most important thing is that you get started. You ease the first plank page uh, phobia <laughs> that many of uh, the artists seem to have with sketchbooks and just, just get over it. <laughs> I think it was actually a year or so ago, maybe two years ago, uh, I had trouble and I struggled to start a sketchbook because it was A4 and I was just fin I just finished like a sketchbook around this size and I was like oh no I, I hate this A4 I hate how it feels I hate it no I don't want to but then I gave it a little time and I got back to it and I just continued I turned the page I just I just want to give you courage to actually start from somewhere. You can, there are endless possibilities how to get rid of the uh, first blank page phobia and I'm sure you can do it. The next step I have for you is to think about the goal of this sketchbook. This is kind of similar to what I said earlier about the purpose of the sketchbook, but if you want to practice painting, for example, um, you can just not really think about the goal, you just want to paint, but it can be helpful to um, think about it in more detail, like what exactly do you want to accomplish? Is your sketchbook goal to have some practice uh, generally in the painting field? Or do you specifically want to practice colors and mixing colors and using colors and lighting? Also when it comes to this tip, um, my goal is to always finish the sketchbook. Personally, it, uh, 
personally, it goes without saying that I won't uh, leave the sketchbook unfinished because I would feel the most anxiety imagining myself just completely quitting a sketchbook. I think I've never really quitted a sketchbook. Sketchbooks are just really important to me and like I want to um, I want to draw in them. Like it's the most drawing I ever do is in a sketchbook so well, it's not really a goal with me, but if you do struggle with finishing sketchbooks, make a schedule for yourself to um, draw daily, for example, so that uh, little by little your sketchbook is like a page per day, for for example, like depending on how fast you draw it, you can you could make like. A, page goal for each day. I myself, when I draw, I usually draw multiple pages and then nowadays it might be like multiple pages but then I might have three or two days without drawing. Figure out the specific goal for yourself if it helps. If you already have guidelines for your sketchbook, it can, it can feel too much even to have like specific method and then goals so you could just stick with one or the other like either have a goal of just finishing a sketchbook or have a goal to practice painting okay i i am done with this warm-up so let's see i did bring out these um, this uh, pencils, pencil pouch, which I have some of my paints over on this side. And also just these random pens. These are um, Vapor Castell Permanent India Ink um, Acid Free. Okay, but um, I don't use these a whole lot. Maybe I should. It's just a white one. Ah! Yeah, this is a white one that I haven't used a lot that either. These are a million years old. These, but oh, these are Kuretake. <laughs> these have a, like um, chisel, or not chisel, but a, like a regular marker tip, and then brush tip. Oh no, actually, these do have like smaller regular markers. I have a couple of these. The colors are so random. <laughs> these do have a brush and fine. This only has... Yeah, I don't use this a lot, but I could use this now. Uh, then I have this one, which is... Um, Pentel? This is Pentel color brush. And I do have a, like a blue here that I haven't used. It's just in there. This is really vibrant pink. I really like it. Then I have this metallic brush pens by Pionio. These are metallic pens and I have a bunch of these. God. But yeah, we'll use these and see what happens. So this is what I came up with. I will say this is very much comfort drawing. <laughs> so I actually want to, for just for kicks, I want to, instead of using actual uh, a line art pen, I will use this to line art the sketch of Tyra and Estella here. And then we'll see, maybe I'll just do like a few color pops here and there and then call it a day. Now I'm actually done with Tyra and I noticed that this is this doesn't really bleed through. I thought this would. Wait a minute. I thought I thought this bleeds through. I guess it doesn't. Oh my. And this is just regular. I think this is on the seven seven level. This isn't the same level as just regular uh, printer paper. So this is the cheapest paper ever. It's been a long while since I used this as well, so... Okay, line art done. 
I see mistakes. I see things I'm good with. And oh, also I added Mel because I doodled her here, so I thought, or actually here. So I, <laughs> I thought it was appropriate. They ordered from the same coffee shop, but since Mel took her sweet time to order and decide what to order, uh, they just took off and I was like, hey, wait for me! My last tip, like, no matter what, you finish a sketchbook, you don't finish a sketchbook. Um, I just hope you get something out of the experience and learn something. Even if you filled only one third of a sketchbook, I, like, it, it doesn't really matter that much. It, I think what matters just the most is that you get something out of it, that it wasn't for naught. It isn't when you explore your creative ideas in a sketchbook. Just look how vibrant this pink is. It's almost like a highlighter. It's really pretty. My camera <laughs> doesn't do it justice, but... Sketchbooks are an absolute delight. I really hope if you never had a sketchbook before, you should definitely try out completing or just using one, having fun with. That's what's most important. Explore things and try out things and I also recommend just generally being open about trying out new things and not really focusing on making perfect art because such things are a rare occasion. Like if you always have the mindset to perfect your sketchbook pages, that, will it really happen? No, it won't. This just became a match of anything and everything. My four tips. First, choose a purpose when you're buying a sketchbook and set guidelines to what you want to do with the sketchbook. And number two, just get it started. Don't be afraid. Like said, there are endless ways to start a sketchbook and it can be however you want. It doesn't have to be a first page. It can be midpoint, it can be even the last page. There are no rules. Or if there are rules by, set by anyone, just break them. Number three, consider being more goal-oriented with your sketchbook rather than just uh, having a purpose. Like, I guess this is a, like an extra tip, really, because you don't necessarily need to be, need to have a goal, but you can set goals if, if the idea like, interests you, then go ahead and try it out. And finally, number four, I encourage you to finish a sketchbook, but even if you don't finish it or do finish it, I still hope you have a pleasant art journey with your sketchbook and figure new things out. You will have good and bad days with your art, but you should just learn from your mistakes and accept it and turn the page. Zoom, zoom, like this. And then just draw something new, like so. Yeah. If you found my tips useful, feel free to let me know in the comments below and suggest tips you thought and I didn't. And yeah. I would love to hear your tips about sketchbooks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!